Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be learning how you can find the best spot for your first Valheim base. I'm going to show you a couple factors to consider. And the best spot is a place that has all of these factors, okay? We're going to look at each factor one at a time. Here's the first factor. A clearing and relatively flat land. In Valheim, you need to use a hoe to flatten land so that you can build on it properly. But that is really, really time consuming, even with something relatively flat like this. So you really want to focus on areas that are pretty flat. Don't think that you can make something that's super hilly into a flat area without spending hours and hours working on it. There's many cases that building the building is actually only half the work. Flattening the terrain and raising the terrain and lowering it is the first half of the work. The second factor to consider is how many objects are in the area. This area is not only pretty flat, but it's also pretty empty. Whereas if I wanted to build a house, you know, here, I'd have to cut down all these trees, there's all these hills, it's just problematic. Not ideal. It's quite important for you to explore a lot, sort of run around, figure out what you're working with, because this way you're going to pick a better spot for your base. You can't really pick a good spot unless you've explored a lot to kind of know what's nearby, right? So I encourage you to explore the first continent that you're on. However, maybe you're on a server like I am where the first continent is absolutely huge and even has multiple mountains, in that case, well, obviously you don't have to explore the entire thing. But you should try and just explore in kind of a radius around the center to get a taste for what's available. This is going to enable you to find the best place for your base to go. Another factor to consider is pre-existing structures. Because Valheim will actually spawn these structures, and what's convenient about them is the game flattens the land where the structures are. If you'll notice, this land right here is perfectly flat. So that saves you the time of having to do it. So if you wanted to, you could just build your workbench, take this apart, and then build your hut right here. Or you could use this pre-existing structure as the beginning of your base, and then you expand upon it. The next factor to consider is how close are you to the Black Forest biome? because most of your progression is actually going to come out of the Black Forest. So if you were to make your base right here, for example, that would be a good spot because it's close to the Black Forest, which is going to make it easier for you. Whereas if you made your base all the way over here, then every time you want to go to the Black Forest, you'll have to travel all the way over here and then to where I am now. And that's really not ideal. You don't want to be traveling a long distance to do something that you're going to have to do to progress. Now, it is true that you want to be close to the Black Forest, but you don't want to be too close to the Black Forest. If you build your base right on the edge, then when you're in your base making noises or building stuff, you'll be able to attract the Black Forest enemies. Otherwise, these guys are going to come into your base and they'll bring their troll buddies and it's, it's a party you don't want to have, trust me. The next factor to consider is how big the Black Forest biome that you're kind of nearby is. You can see this is all Black Forest I just explored. This is big enough that there's probably enough of what we need. We have some coastline here where there would be probably some tin and copper and that kind of thing. So this is probably big enough. But don't get fooled because sometimes this alone is the Black Forest and then everything else is meadow. So you can think, oh, that black forest is right next to me. Yeah, but the black forest is so tiny that it won't have the resources you need, so it's not really that useful. So think about the size of the biomes that you're near as well. This is why it's really important to explore a lot before you decide exactly where your base is gonna go. Another factor to consider is how many resources are in the black forest that you're near. The easiest way to figure this out is to look at the coastline because the Black Forest will have copper in these things if it's bigger, but it might not have any tin because the tin is located where there's water. 
So it's really important that the black forest that you go into has these rivers because the tin will spawn in the rivers or it has coastline because tin can also spawn along the coast. However, it's more common in these sort of little river things. So if you see one of these rivers going through the black forest, that's a great place to get tin. And you know that the resource is gonna be there. Another factor to consider is how close you are to the water because a lot of Valheim is about sailing and you won't be able to progress through all the bosses unless you sail off of this original place and you progress. So it's a pain if your base is really far away from the water. Like for example, if my base was all the way up here, then I have to come all the way down here to get to the water. That's not really ideal. Ideally, your base is actually on the water, on the coastline, while also being close to another biome. So here, this would actually be a good spot for a base because it's on the water, it's in the meadows, so it's safe, but it's right next to a black forest. Another factor to consider is the closeness to the center of the world. And the reason this is important is because at some point you're going to die. We all will. And if you're lucky, you'll have a spawn point. But if you're unlucky, your spawn point will get destroyed and then you'll die and you'll find yourself in the center of the world. So if your base is super far away from the center of the world, then it's going to be a whole adventure of itself to get back to your base. So keep in mind that when you die and lose a spawn point, you'll always go back to the center of the world. This is important because it's convenient to at least have a portal in the center or some kind of path that leads you back to your first base. Now, if you're really lucky, you'll find one of these villages nearby the center of the world or on your first continent. And the reason these villages are so great is because they often have raspberries. There's usually some boar when you first get here. And if you haven't noticed, this area is super flat. There's not really many trees. And there's all of these pre-existing buildings that we could live in or build upon and expand. You know, this could be your kitchen. That could be where you sleep. This could be where you make your armor, etc., etc., etc. And there's all these boars here already. Look at all these. There's like three over there, one over there, another one over there. You can make a boar pit really easily by just fencing in this area and then luring all the boars here. So these villages are a fantastic place to make your base. Thanks for watching this video. Comment below if you want a tutorial about something and consider checking out my tutorial about how to purchase your own dedicated Valheim server. It's a fantastic way to play Valheim with your friends and it really makes the world feel more immersive because they can build stuff while you're off living your life and doing something else. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.